Hi, I'm Brad Waddell here at the Game Developers Conference. And today I'm going to show you what we're demonstrating today is Impulse Reactor version 2. Impulse Reactor is a new platform that lets game developers add multiplayer functionality, accounts, achievements, and that sort of thing into their game with only a few lines of code. And instead of doing the traditional old-fashioned download an SDK and having to spend months and months or hours and hours at the very least implementing it, instead you can skin what we call in-game overlays. And with this, you get all the cool functionality of, say, a battle.net in your game. So I'm going to take you over to our booth and uh, show you what we're doing. So what I'm showing here at GDC is Impulse Reactor version 2. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the publishing part of it, developing Impulse Reactor applications, and what the eventual result looks like in-game. So here I am on Impulse's developer website, and I want to—I have just made a game, and I want to add it to Impulse. How hard is it? Well, the good news is it's automated. So I add a company, and what I do is I decide: Well, am I a publisher or am I an independent developer? Am I a company or an individual? And once I decide that, then I take go on and I name my company, give myself a web uh, my web address, my email address for contact information, and then once I do that, it'll take me to finish, where I literally type in my mailing address for where it sends me the royalty checks along with along with a tax ID. Okay, here's my very very simple example here. So I've added uh, three achievements and the only thing I have to add to my program is impulsereactor.h which comes with the SDK and then I have to put in my directory the impulsereactor.dol plus the impulse reactor overlay which provides me functionality to get to some of these things which I'll talk about in a minute. So this has been made, uh, this little micro game here has been made by uh, Jeff Bargman over at, at Stardock. This is the whole, here's, this is the game. So it's guess a letter, pretty straightforward. But as you can see, to get Impulse going, you, have, you launch the game, uh, you register the game with Impulse Reactor here. This is the log on so that the user's account is activated. This is where you'd launch your game. And then when it's done, you do the shutdown right here. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how this shows up in game to give you an idea of the, how we're doing this. And it'll kind of make sense once you actually see it in a game. So if you want to see how this actually works, now Stardock is using Impulse Reactor in Elemental War of Magic, which is our upcoming fantasy strategy game. So here I'm going to go quickly run through the game here so I can select select my guy here. Now this is still in beta. This won't be out until for half a year still. But So let me walk through this and the world's being generated. This will only take a second. Yeah, there's my guy. Let's see. Let me turn off the cloth map only. Yay, so there he is. This all looks pretty good. Now how does, how does a developer actually get to benefit from this? Well, if you, if you don't want to write any code if you just want to write the data source, the database and you don't feel like creating any user interface code or doing any work at all, that's okay because as long as you include Impulse Reactor and the overlay with it, a user can just hit shift tab and they will automatically get their data right here. So here's my little avatar here which the user can have on a per game basis and they can they can chat with other users of the game. They can see how they're doing with their friends. Let's see if I can bug anyone right now. Of course, naturally no one's online when I want, I'm want. i online. Oh, there's the monk. He's always great at this networking stuff. Uh, oh, I have friend requests too. Achievements. Here are some of the achievements I already have. The we I couldn't help but uh, put in here the King of Pain. So anyone who has managed to play through the elemental beta uh, so far uh, is obviously a king of, of of things because it's so painful our, our betas are very early but anyways uh, another thing you can do here is if I click on this I can get all my stats which is uh, how many games I've played or recent games I've played against the AI or if any other games have used it such as uh, Demigod or Sins of the Solar Empire or anything else that's using it this this data here is um, just reading from my account some of this we just fed here and my gamer score and all that good stuff. Now what makes this special is that Stardock is best known for its skinning software. 
here, let me get down to my guy here. And what that means is that uh, the nice thing about that is that we're good at making it so that developers can do interesting things with the looks. So for example, I can come out and, and change the look of this. So I'm going to go to a different, some textures. And this is, just, now these are just texture changes. So we didn't have time to come up with different UI for the show. But the idea is, is that a developer could make their logon, for example, let me go ahead and change my login to look like the game. It doesn't have to be, it never has to even mention impulse or anything like that. It can be completely integrated. And in fact, let's say you don't want to uh, be giving impulse. And by the way, any data that comes to this is not a traditional impulse account. If they don't create an account at impulse driven.com, they, we don't have it. It's, it's all anonymous, anonymous data, but you can actually connect with uh, Facebook and we hope to support Windows Live ID as well as Open ID in the near future. But what here, the point here is that as a developer, I don't want to use this thing and makes it look like I'm using someone else's service. Rather, I want it, the player to be immersed in my particular game. So that's one of the things that we're doing there is to make it so you can do all that kind of thing. And like I said, this whole thing can be skinned however you want. Uh, anyone who's in the Battle.net uh, beta certainly knows the experience of the new Battle.net, which is totally awesome. Here, let me uh, get out of this. There we go. I, I'm just going to let it zoom out. Uh, but the nice thing here, here's my guy being patient down there still, about this is that in Impulse Reactor, if you want, you can just call up these dialogues in-game however you want. And skinning it is just a matter of replacing. We include a folder full of textures and skins that you can change as a developer any way you want. So whether it be matchmaking or multiplayer uh, or the lobby or uh, friends, achievements, the whole thing, it can all be put into your game. And you don't really have to write any code. You can just apply a skin and simply call our screens right from that we've already made for you. Now the nice thing here is that if you want to do it the old-fashioned way like other SDKs and, and, and do the, all the user interface work yourself from scratch, you can still do that. But the idea here is that with using skinning, you can make all this look as native as you want. It can look exactly like your game UI here. And in fact, all of Stardock's games are going to use this. And you, uh, to the average user, to any user really, they're not going to be able to tell the difference of whether this option screen, for example, is Impulse Reactor or whether it's actually, uh, you know, we've gone and done it the hard way. But the nice thing about this is that as a developer, if I want to use this, it's one line of code. I just call impulse reactor colon colon and I pop up the screen and I and then I get back the XML data of from the screen of what the user actually ended up doing on it. And then I can decide what I want to do with that. So that's it. My name is Brad Wardell and I hope you enjoyed what you see here. And if you're a game developer, please feel free to visit impulsedriven.com and contact us. Uh, this SDK doesn't cost anything. As long as your game is on impulse, uh, you're, you are all set.